Well, I just crushed my first ride on an e-bike, courtesy of iZip and Raleigh. I'm definitely ready for the tour of Utah. I'm winning this year. This is Rob Kaplan. He's with Raleigh iZip. How are you, brother? I'm doing great. Thanks, Terry. Good to be here. Beautiful. Beautiful area. Great riding. Thanks for the ride. My first, my inaugural tour on an e-bike. It was pretty zippy, man. Yeah, we're glad you enjoyed it. We're, you know, we're real excited to be here, and, and we're all about getting more people on bikes. The e-bike e category is something that's sort of new in the U.S. It's already really huge in, in Europe, and we're here showing some Raleigh and iZip e-bikes, and they've got great technology that we'd like to talk about, but the most important thing is riding these bikes, so we encourage pe folks to seek them out and take one for a test ride. So this bike is the Raleigh Maceo IE. The great thing about this bike is it uses a drive system that's manufactured by a company called Shimano. Shimano, for anybody who rides bikes, is the largest component manufacturer in the world. This is a really super efficient little drive system that's mounted down by the pedals, and it helps your legs pedal. Because it's mounted in the center and not in the hub of the rear wheel, it actually helps you ride instead of pushing you along uses a high output lithium ion battery pack, gives you lots of power for a long ride. You could probably go about 30 to 60 miles per ride, per right. charge on this bike. It's got automatic shifting with push buttons, so it's electronic shifting. So you, if you come to a stoplight and you want to sh shift down, you don't have to worry about spinning the pedals. You just hit the button a couple times, puts you in the right gear. Three different power levels. This bike sells for about $3,300 retail. Great bike from Raleigh, the Raleigh Maceo IE. The next bike we're going to talk about is a bike from our iZip brand. This is the iZip Dash. This is a new bike for us for 2016. We're real excited about it. Also uses a center drive system. This center drive is manufactured by us, so it's a Curry Electro Drive system. A little bit different te technology uh, allows us to create a bike that's actually a speed bike. So this bike will go 28 miles an hour in pedal assist mode, which is a ton of fun. And for a cyclist to go 28 miles an hour without riding really hard, but still riding a little bit, it sort of puts bicycles in a different light when you're talking about using it for transportation. Comes kitted out with full fenders, rack, integrated lighting system. Also has an LCD screen that gives you all the cyclo computer functionality, speed, range, distance, etc. This bike sells for about $3,000, a blast to ride. Also uses a high output lithium ion battery pack. The iZip Dash, great bike as well. And then the next bike that we want to talk about is actually tailor-made for Park City. This is our fat bike, the iZip Sumo. And uh, this is a, just a blast to ride. You know, when you're thinking about an all-mountain bike, this could be transportation in the summer, but even better, transportation in the winter because it's got really? these four-inch fat tires, tons of flotation over the soft snow, over gravel, dirt, etc equally at home is on the road. This bike also uses our center drive system. We tune it a little bit differently to provide more torque because on an off-road bike, you'll want a little bit more torque. Use the same high output lithium ion battery pack. This bike retails for about $3,600. The iZip Sumo, great, great fun. And then the last bike that we want to show your watchers is this is a very exciting bike for us. This is a joint venture between iZip and Yuba. Yuba is one of the leaders in the country in cargo bikes. They really pioneered the whole cargo bike category. But the great thing about this bike is it's a mid-tail, so it's a little, little bit longer than a normal bike. It allows the rider to put either two uh, baby seats, or they can have a baby seat and a, a, a larger child seat. They also sell an accessory set that makes it into a truck rack, so you can actually put a hot box, a pizza box, or a bunch of lumber on the bike. The weight limit on this bike is about 450 pounds, so you can carry a lot of gear, 300 pounds over the rear wheel. Wow. So, and the nice thing about it is it has that same drive system, so even if you're trying to get up the hill here in Park City, you have no problem because you've got an electric assist that'll get you up the hill at 20 miles an hour with just a little bit of effort, and you can really leave the minivan or the pickup truck at home and use this bike as a, as a great around town bike. The Spicy Curry from Yuba, uh, sells for about $4,500, great transportation, lots of accessories available for it. This bike will be available in about a month. That's it from uh, iZip and Raleigh so far. we got lots of other bikes, but uh, that's the ones that we want to show you today. Rob, where should folks go online to find out lots more information about these bikes? Great question. So www.izip, I-Z-I-P-U-S-A.com or www.raleighusa.com. Raleigh is R-A-L-E-I-G-H one of the oldest brands in the industry. We're really proud of it. Rob Kaplan, nice work. Thanks, Thanks so much sorry. for showing us the good stuff. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Nice to be here.